but you, you've, all, you've all got full-time paid-up staff working on this. The Cresingham residents are all bu right, already busy trying to keep food on their tables, and in the evenings, when they have finished their day's work, you give them four weeks and then two days or a night to evaluate the options and respond to keep the roofs over their heads? Is this acceptable? No. no. I'd like to ask every member on this company, uh, on this um, committee. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't, don't you leave out my time. Um, now, um, you know, based on the fact that the biggest point that the council has uh, for justifying regeneration is to do with financial viability, why do you give them less than 20 hours to look at the financials? Um, I, I, I think that this is the reason why I hope all committee members tonight will vote to send this back. Thank you. yourself uh, and um, and uh, speak for two minutes. Uh, I'm hoping that people can focus on the three, three points that Councillor Ainsley has put in the papers that he wants us to focus on. In other words, the, the financials, the people's plan, so-called, and the removal of key rights. Alleged. Mr. Ong. Uh, yeah, uh, my name is King Ong. Uh, I'm the uh, tenant there. Um, yeah, I've not heard of the uh, brown, uh, brownfield sites, you know, I've uh, seen these private companies, they, they bought, yeah, you know, buildings, and then they, they will sort flatten it, and, and build a lot of, lots of homes in there. There's one that, in the Seven Hills, the uh, old down south, and the bowling centers, and then this is the borough one, you know, they have uh, private companies, you know, and these, uh, and, and this one, page two, is this, uh, is this uh, floating home, and you can feel on on uh, what's that river Thames, uh, by the Delta. So, let's have a look at it. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm uh, just sorry about the brown brownfield land and, and the T, you know, the, uh, the TFL got a lot of uh, brown uh, brownfield land. <coughs> You know, they are going to give it, you know, you are going to build a new flat, a new home. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mm -hmm. Ong. Uh, if we could hear from uh, Mr. Plant, if you could introduce yourself and speak into the microphone and try and confine yourself to the three points. <coughs> I'm Andrew Plant. I'm a tenant at Crippingdon to state. Um, obviously, I, I hope the good people are going to actually scrutinise it beyond party lines um, and take into account the fact that in the several years of consultation, we have speaking to the mic, we have constantly um, been subjected to obfuscation by council officers and councillors whether that's been deliberate or just through the fact that some of your staff are frankly inept. Um, 
My main concern is with the, I believe you said, alleged removal of rights. We have here a compulsion <coughs> that if you wish to stay on Crescent Gardens Estate, you have to give up right to buy, you have to give up right to manage, or right to transfer. Now, that's coercion. <coughs> I know you might not like to hear the word, and you might not agree with it, but it is actually coercion. You keep selling your assured lifetime tenancy, the lifetime element of it actually being rubbish, um, because no non-secure tenancy is for a lifetime. Um, you keep selling that as being similar to a secure council tenancy. Yeah, except that you remove right to buy, right to manage, and right <coughs> to transfer. I, I would ask the committee to take that into account. That's it. <laughs> I've one speaker so so far, um, uh, Mr. Elmer. Hello, I'm from an organisation called Architects for Social Housing. Um, we are also working uh, to resist your demolition of Central Hill as well. Um, but in the last meeting, the Cabinet meeting, a wonderful moment, um, we found out at the end of the meeting that Homes for Lambeth is being set up, according to our own website, over a nine month period by the uh, real estate firm Savills. Now, in January, <clears throat> my question is about where, what, what, what kind of homes are going to be built onto this um, to replace the ones that you're going to demolish. Savills wrote a report in which they recommended to Cabinet um, that the homes of over 400,000 Londoners in council homes are going to be demolished across about 1,750 acres, uh, hectares. They're also writing the financial, um, they're auditing the financial model for the Hackney Regeneration <laughs> Scheme. They were responsible for the viability asses assessment on the um, Haygate scheme, which led to 1,200 homes being demolished and replaced with 79. And it turns out they're going to be running homes for Lambeth as well. Now, in their report, they come up with an idea of regeneration, which surprisingly is very close to yours. That is, that the state regeneration is a means of active gentrification. It has what they call an anocco effect, which drives up prices in the neighbourhood. And given the homes that you're going to build on there, I can see why you asked them to come in and uh, manage homes for Lambeth. I guess the last thing I want to say is <clears throat> you say in your website that homes for Lambeth can only be sold if it has full covenant voting, um, full covenant um, voting from um, the actual board of homes for Lambeth, which I understand is going to be run by uh, Councillor Matthew Bennett over there. Um, and uh, a majority voting from the council itself. What guarantees can you give us, beyond, of course, your own consciences, um, <laughs> that Lambeth, Homes for Lambeth is not what it very much looks like, which is a property development company set up by Savills Estate Agent, whose entire regeneration programme is based on the social cleansing of <laughs> inner London areas and its replacement with luxury apartments? Yes. Said, what guarantees can you give? And then there was a long piece about gentrification and well, social you know, cleansing, but there wasn't an actual what guarantees can you give on? I didn't quite follow. You, the only conditions you've got that Homes for Lambeth can't be sold yeah. right. is the the vote of this cabinet, or not this cabinet, of the cabinet. Right. Yes. And yet your cabinet has already voted to demolish these homes, not just these homes, but six other estates as well. Um, what is the difference between Homes for Lambeth and a property developer? Why is why why you why is uh, Savills Estate Agent who set this up? Since their entire regeneration scheme is based on the demolition of estates and its replacement with luxury apartments for sale on the private market, what is to stop this council and this cabinet not merely selling this within you know, five years' time? Okay, right, I'll follow that. Thank you. Um, can we, if you wouldn't mind retaking your seat, thanks very much for your contribution. We will uh, draw those out. Subsequently, with the officers and the cabinet member, if we can now have um, Mariana Marcoboso, I'm apologising if I've <laughs> that. 